You know what? I don't know where the dogs are. It's past mid-morning right now, and they haven't been out here with me yet today. I saw them early this morning. I don't know what the deal is. They must be on an adventure again. <laughs> Project one for today is gonna to be to get the outer wheels and tires off of this thing so I can take them over to Rambler, get them all polished up. That's the same company that did the first ones we had done on the Kenworth, so we'll bring them over there and have a second set of shiny wheels. But I actually need to move the truck from there to here because my air hose is only, it's not very long for that big impact. But first, I'm gonna bring this flatbed into the shop and park it right behind where I want the truck so that later I can build the sideboards for this thing. And then we can start hauling out our ugly steel pile that's gotten built up to be quite extravagant. And I'm going to tuck this back behind where the truck is going because it sounds like Jim has a project he wants to bring in here as well. Those are both pretty well tucked. Plenty of room over here for Jim's project. Step one is to get the truck in the air, get the tires off the ground. That's probably the only step you're gonna get because I'll forget to keep doing that the rest of the time. This truck does not have a convenient place to jack up on the frame back here. So, I'm gonna just fight with some stuff. Kinda get it in the only spot I could find. Unless, no, I, I tried that. There we go. Okay. Oh, ouch. There we go. Oh, I might be too far forward. Come on. There we go. That's higher than I need it to be, but that's where it worked out. Last time I did this, I was gonna get one of those handy player tools that you use to pop these on and off. But, uh, you know, you know how that goes. Not sure how well it picks up on camera, but these caps also have some rust spots on them. Like, see, there's one like right, right there if you look closely. So I'm just gonna, you know, spend the extra $12 or whatever it is to get some extra caps. Okay, impact and sockets right there. I think that's the one. Looks the most used anyway. Yep. Oil daily. Oh man. I'm gonna have to start getting up earlier and oiling that every day before I do much. Dad joke. Time for the professional earbuds. They may look like just a piece of foam you squish down and put in your ear, but that's exactly what they are. And for my tender little millennial eyeballs, I actually do like these Gators safety glasses. You can swap the lens out, it locks in right there. And uh, they come in tinted ones and stuff. It's the same company that makes my sunglasses. So if you're interested in checking them out, use the link down below. It helps me out if you buy through that. But ultimately, whatever. Let's get these tires off. Okay. 
thing weight must weigh 20, 30 pounds. That one was fairly heavy, so I'm gonna do this one the easy way. Get, get my, how do I, I gotta line my hand up here. There we go. Much easier. Now I can move this jack over to the other side and get the other rears off. And then the fun one's up front. First I'll get these two out of my way and into the pickup. gonna happen as quickly as I had wanted I actually I gotta quit look at that these are self tinting I did not actually know that huh anyway unfortunately Onyx and I actually have to run we got to do some running around so I don't know if I'll get back to this today or if it'll be tomorrow I don't know I'll see you in the next clip well I didn't get back until midnight last night so I'm out here now it's late morning again had some stuff this morning Finishing up this uh, stupid job. Jim's got a project going in the background there. His son does some dock removal. So he's working on that. I got the rear tires off this thing, but I gotta get the airbags pumped up on it here. So that I can get my jack out from underneath that spring. Mostly is why. And then I'm gonna have to figure out the, the art of getting the jack underneath the truck in the right spot to be able to get the fronts off. There's not a lot of easy spots to get the jack in on this truck. Is it any good? It's working. It's working? It's a pain in the butt. <laughs> Do you want out? You're acting like you want out of here. All right, are you ready? Ready? Go have fun. As far as it goes, I can't get it in on that side. I'm an inch short. Gonna need a new valve sim in that one. <sighs> you can tell by the hissing sound that it's gonna need the valve stem. I gotta stand those up better. Alright, six. Yeah. I need more room than that. I'm bringing an extra one. I'm bringing an extra one because it's got a slow leak. This one has a fast leak. Okay. Projects are in the works. A foot. The projects are a foot. Close these things up. Rumor has it one of them's flat now. I'm only 24 hours late with these, so not bad. All right, I got a box of beautification supplies here for when we get the wheels back. Now we're gonna go meet them back at door 17. That means they have a lot of doors. 
This is the same place that polished our wheels on that Kenworth last year. And the really nice part is that they have the machine that's able to do it with the tires on it. So you don't have to dismount them and you don't have to do it by hand and they chuck it up in there and it does a heck of a nice job. That's pretty much it. Now I'll go home and these guys will call probably tomorrow, maybe the next day, and let me know they're done. I'll come back and get them. Well, my running around is done, but now it's six o'clock at night and my niece's cars broke down up on the highway. So I'm gonna go deal with other things again after I move Jim's project out of the way here so he can come pick it up. Well, another day, another, you know, weather pattern. I'm gonna guess there's about four inches here on the ground. I don't know what we actually got because a lot of it melted before it accumulated here. No idea what the dogs just think they heard. But we got about a day and a half off and then we're supposed to get two to three, potentially three more feet. Not inches, feet of this stuff. <laughs> anyway, I told you guys it would happen once I took the blower and the push bucket off the tractor. So the first thing I'm gonna do this morning now is run up the road and grab the wheels for this. They're all polished up. Put some new caps on it. Make this thing sparkle a little bit more. You know what's funny is that I've had this new pickup for about three months now in the middle of a Minnesota winter. And I don't think it's ever seen snow before. Well, there it is, pickup snow. Oh, there we go. Look at that. You down there with you? There we go. I got it. We got the wheels back, Anna. We got them back. Just ignore this steel one here that's still all dirty. I was just having them patch this tire, but look at that guy. Just in time, as long as I got the skid loader running, there's our first seed of the year. Soybean seed showing up. I think they got five boxes on board there. Didge looks pumped. Just in time for, for spring planting. Just about ready to get going here. Well, I thought we had five hard boxes of seed coming, which we do. Turns out we got chem on there as well. You guys know that membership to FBN is free, right? So if you're a farmer, why would you not at least be a member and check out their pricing and everything they have to offer? All the transparency and the financing and the insurance and you name it. There is a direct link right below if you want to check it out. Just saying. If you ain't a member, I feel bad for you, son. Since it's free, you should probably be one. I got 99 problems, seed and chem is not those are not either of them, none, none of those. There's the first tote of soybeans, seed beans. That's an 09 variety, a .09, so yes, that's, that is a very early hybrid even for us. I can't decide where I want to go with it, if you can tell. We have not personally planted these 09s before. I know there's, um, I think 1.4s on the truck also that we ordered. I'm told they're they're pretty good. We had 1.2s last year, they did really well. It's actually a 1.5 it looks like, so this will actually be a really late soybean for us. That's gonna do it. Uh, six totes of chemicals, one pallet of boxes, and five totes of seed for now. They're definitely not organized the way I want them, so I'll worry about that later, I guess. Goodbye, friendly local delivery FBN guy. In all seriousness, if you guys need anything right now, you're looking for inputs or anything else FBN has to offer, which is a lot, go check them out. I know I talk about it a lot, but 
go check them out because they really are farmers first. Dang, I'm good. Swing. Probably time for a quick lunch. I'll get to those wheels in a minute here. Grain markets mixed this morning, pretty quiet. Matt Bennett is joining us. Let's start off with this uh, soybean sell-off yesterday. Before I get to work on these wheels here, which I'm gonna run out of time again, because I gotta run again, but I at least wanna get the steer wheels on here. I'm gonna open up this. Comes from farmsipsupreme.com to the actor who plays the millennial farmer. So he makes custom 3D printed stuff. And I ordered a few things here. Cup holder, phone holder, pen holder. There's a few options, different variants of those. Some different mounts here. And I know the one I'm excited about, he calls a cane holder. You know, for people that need canes, once you're up in the cab, you can lean your cane up in the corner and it'll hold it in place. There it is here. So now this gets mounted in there up into the corner or wherever you want it and then that should hold your standard 223 556 caliber cane or maybe you like your canes in a 300 blackout and you got a suppressor on there and you're shooting subsonic rounds out of it i mean firing doing you know whatever you do with your cane whatever you want to mount there this one i don't know what it is yet we're going to find that out as long as we go on with spring we're going to start mounting this stuff there's a custom one here for randy the master pipe layer so he can do all kinds of custom custom yeah oh. People in their infantile jokes, you know? When you have a 3D printer and you build parts like that, it comes with a lot of responsibility. Anyway, I'm pretty much out of time for these, so I guess I'll just be late to my next thing because that's kind of how I roll in life. That was plenty high. You know, when your mouth is getting dry, it's plenty high. Centering nuts. Anises. Centering nuts. Maybe another time. I didn't even get one of them on and I got a warning on my phone saying we need to leave promptly so I'm gonna do that but I really hope I'll get back out here later this afternoon in a couple hours and finish this job this is like this is the longest wheel job ever wheel job is that a thing all right I am back again it's like every day this week there were just multiple things multiple reasons to take me away from actual work oh I don't have my opener that'll happen I see it's still snowy out here and my truck's all snowy now, so I may as well pull it in and let that melt off. All right, last I left off, I think I need a giant torque wrench, which I've been hiding back here in this giant torque wrench uh, concealed carry thing. Expensive you are. 475. I went double jacks, du double, double jack stands on each side for, you know, safety reasons.
All right, so I torqued the first seven with the centering nuts on there. What these do is basically fall into place, make it so that, make it so that your rim is perfectly centered. Got seven of them torqued, took the centering nuts off. Now I'll just run my final three up, put our center cap on. I should check the hub oil there as well. Yeah, we're good in there. Getting close, finish this one the easy way. There we go, look at that. Man, that is so shiny, you can almost see my Millennial Farmer Cobbs of Steel hoodie there. Which is just one out of a lot of options in the link down below where you can get our merchandise from. And if you buy only $20 right now, you get a free calendar, so why not? And steer tire number two. That was a pretty good snap. I got all of them done. Even got the tools picked up, the air hoses put away. It was a solid snap. Garbage is out, it's a good one. There we have it, finally this job, this week long job it seems like, is finished. I feel like this was kind of a weird video. It took me several days to do this small task. A few other odds and ends here, but I was in and out a whole bunch. But uh, if you stuck around to the end, thank you very much, I appreciate that. And we'll see you in the next one here. I don't know if we're gonna have a whole bunch more snow, or I have no snow by the time I see you next. We'll have Jim out here, we're gonna work on that spray trailer, we're gonna work on the sprayer, get that going, and the new to us planter and tractor are gonna show up next week. But in the meantime, it's melting fairly well out here. I am here at an undisclosed top secret location somewhere in North America. It's a Polaris facility. We're gonna be filming some stuff today. We're gonna be looking at some of the new stuff on the new, I believe 2025 Rangers. I'm gonna learn more as we get in here. I don't, I don't really for sure know yet what's going on. Psych, I gotta go around to the other side of the building. I just hit the red yeah. button and you can record everything that's going on. And uh, I never I never have to mess with anything. Look at that, is he, is, he, uh, is he like a prop guy? Like pretending to he shine is. it up or is he actually doing that? All right, cool. Um, one more. Hey, now I'm actually taking a shot, so don't interrupt me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm inside now, inside this top secret testing facility. We are looking at right now the new 2025 Rangers, so they've got some stuff that they've changed on these things. Man, I really like that black, orange, and white right there. I also like that blue over there, the flat blue. But they've got a ton of little things that they have changed on these models. They're not an entirely new model completely. They've just got a ton of different things that they've changed. So we're here acting completely natural in front of all these giant cameras and producers and the sound guys have really been holding us up a lot, but it's been it's been fun. It's, uh, it's an interesting thing. It's different from what I do on the farm. That's for sure. See, it takes time to rearrange everything because you got to get the lighting perfect. You got to get the sound perfect. Stuff I never think about. See, this is the kind of stuff that the actor, the millennial farmer does. So the farmer's at home actually working. So while the lighting and the sound guys do all their thing, I'm kind of getting a little bit of a tour here of Polaris. So these are... This is one of the office areas, I guess. I'm just gonna take over this spot. I'm not sure what's going on over here, dilly dilly, but you gotta clean up your desk, all right? Be more like Haley. Man, another great montage. I could not get enough of those things. They just keep making them better and better all the time. Kind of like these Rangers. So we got the XP model in front of us right now. Am I seeing things or did you guys do something different with the front end? So I mentioned that we are at Polaris. Hey research, guys. Like, like the, the research and development uh, facility for Polaris Off-Road, is that right? Yeah, this is where we do pretty much all of our engineering for every off-road vehicle we make, all of our military stuff, as well as some of the stuff we make for on-road. So like Polaris slingshots are designed here as well. So there's a whole bunch of cool stuff going on behind the camera. I mean, it's not happening right now, but there are, I mean, 50 off-road vehicles back there that I don't want to show them because I don't know what I can and can't show. Yeah, most of this stuff is top secret. I'd say there's at least 50 machines inside here. We also didn't show you the whole back lot where there's probably a few hundred. Yeah, I haven't seen that one. But anyway, we're here today. We're doing some filming with Polaris on some of the new upgrades they've made to the 2025 lineup. So we're going to run through just a few things here. Um, yeah. Since I'm standing here, we're talking on the North Star Edition now. Um, just run me through some of the stuff like as a farmer, farmers, ranchers, big property owners, 
a lot of people that hunt watch the videos too. Yeah. Like, just tell me on the, on the interior here, what are the changes that, that they're gonna notice? Yeah, the big stuff the farmers are gonna notice, especially you guys that have had an XP1000 before, new crew roof design. So we heard you guys loud and clear, change the direction of this shingling. It seals a lot better this year. Big improvement, we heard you guys and we fixed it. Um, other thing that's really cool, inside the vehicle, new transmission so these things shift like butter now way smoother uh, he is not lying that yeah. thing is smooth i know we showed you this but um this is another thing that we've improved over the years but it's it's way better now yeah um, another one that's cool is you spend a lot of time in these vehicles is new jbl audio so these speakers are way bigger um, the sound quality is a lot better integrates with ride command but it's a, it's a big improvement for this year so is that the same system i've got in the 1500 xd yeah, it's, it's slightly modified so that it fits in an XP1000, but if you guys saw the audio that we launched on the new Polaris Expedition or also in the XD1500, same speakers, same amp, same all of that, it's just packaged to fit in an XP1000. Okay, of course they got the heating, the air conditioning, and the big screen in this one too. I just learned today that your cell phone will communicate with this thing. So similar to like yep. the John Deere tractors, I can look and see where this thing's at, how much fuel is in it, all that good information. Yep. So yeah, I just learned that today. Plus, um, it's going to come on some vehicles from the factory or else you can add it as an accessory to pretty much anything we make. Okay. They come now from the factory, bigger wheels and tires. Yep. So we've had 29 inch tires on these North Star Ultimates, but now the North Star Premiums and then all the uncapped XP1000s are going to come with these 29 inch tires. And they got the factory winch now. Yep. All the XP1000s will have a winch from the factory. Um, Another thing farmers are going to appreciate is the bumper is just bigger, beefier, it's uh, physically stronger than it was. Same stuff you've always had on XP1000 though, like you've got your plow integration, so you hooked your plow up to these two hooks, it goes onto this bar, um, the winch obviously mounts right in there, and then slots for accessories. So you guys can put an upper front brush guard on here, uh, you can still get a basket for the hood. Um, also some new uh, accessory lights that'll fit in here. So especially if you guys live up north like Zach does, uh, these are awesome for plowing because you get a little bit of that peripheral light from these auxiliary lights. Sure, and these already have the really big powerful LED lights on them. Yep. Yeah, Plus you've the redone yep. the styling on it just looks beefier, it just looks tougher. Yeah, so we redesigned like this front end area of the vehicle, um, kept a lot of the same features though. So the grill is still removable, so you can take the grill off, wash your radiator, stuff like that. That was something we learned from farmers and uh, have kept with this new body style. Sure. So we'll go over here to the open cab one. So this is not the North Star edition here, but the, uh, the payload, the capacity, whatever words, fancy words you guys use, that's all the same between these two models, right? Yeah, all the full-size 1,000 Rangers will have the same box, 1,000 pound capacity, and then 2,500 pound tow. Okay, which is the biggest in the industry? Am I yeah, correct when I say that? the biggest in this segment. So the XD1500 is going to take that even a step further, but as far as full-size 1,000 cc UTVs, this is the most in the industry. Yeah, check out this blue color too, this matte blue. Super sharp. This is the first time I've seen it. Awesome vehicles. You guys have done well, so thank you for the rundown. So you'll see me and Chris on, on I don't even know what do you call I mean, we worked for eight hours here working on filming stuff. It's gonna be Professional like a, actor type of thing. It's gonna be like a 15 minute launch and we've been here since seven in the morning filming. So yeah. it's, it's been a long day, but it's been really fun. It's tough being like being actors, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's a part-time job for me. I know it's a full-time job for you, Zach, but this is just my part-time gig, so. It was a long day. Did you negotiate your contract so you get paid millions like George Clooney? I'm, unfortunately, I'm not that smart, so I didn't get any bonus or anything for this. I just did it for fun. I think we're supposed to get agents. We didn't even get a trailer. I, mean, I was hoping to get like a trailer out back. No like hair and makeup my trailer? Feet. Nothing. Next time. When we do Ridiculous. our next, when we launch the next Ranger, we'll have you out. We'll both get trailers and maybe we'll both get bonuses for doing it. Because now we're experienced so we can negotiate. Yeah. We got it. So here's one machine sitting in the background that we can show. I'm gonna be a little careful how I hold the camera here, but this is a machine that was all customized with the Diesel Brothers. So they've been taking this around to a lot of shows. Six wheel machine. That's awesome. This right here, this leather wrapped handle, that's just like a, a awkward little badass detail that I really like. Yeah. 
there's kind of a shout out to our ranch customers. You know, they like leather. So even the wrap yeah. that the Diesel Brothers did on this has a leather grain to it. Yeah, cool. that's really cool. Dylan, I'm not too sure what your plan is with this machine, but whatever you're doing with it, if you find a way to get it over to our farm, I wouldn't be upset about that. <laughs> Okay, keep it between the rows. Toodles.